no follow. The no follow link element was originally designed as a tool to help webmasters deal with comment spam. It was originally intended for application on links within blog and article comments. These comments typically include a link to the commenter's website of choice. To combat manipulation, Google introduced the nofollow attribute as a way for site managers to indicate a link to an untrusted site. This original use for nofollow still applies. Another use of the nofollow attribute is where paid links are concerned. Google states, buying or selling links that pass page rank is in violation of Google's webmaster guidelines and can negatively impact a site's rankings in search engines. Using the nofollow attribute. Adding the rel equals quote nofollow quote attribute to the a tag will turn a link into a nofollow link. PageRank is Google's name for the value which passes from one page to another through a link. In the following examples, points are imaginary as Google's algorithm is unknown. They are just to give you an idea of the principles involved in PageRank distribution. In the diagram on the right, you will see that the page rank is distributed equally through the links on a page. If we add the nofollow attribute to one of the links on the page, it changes the equation. Previously, including nofollow on a link would eliminate page rank passing to that page and redistribute the flow of page rank to the remaining links. Previously with nofollow you could PR sculpt where you wanted the PR to go on your site. Today the nofollow element behaves differently. A nofollow element on a link evaporates the page rank value reducing the amount of page rank that page can transfer through links. Here we are assuming total evaporation. 